As you can see, I'm using Optifine 1.20.6 and if you don't believe me, look at the zoom I could do from all the way over here. I could just zoom all the way over here. And if you want to learn how to download and install Optifine 1.20.6 so your game looks as beautiful as mine and runs super smooth, make sure you watch this video until the end and let's go ahead and get started. Now guys, the first step to get Optifine 1.20.6 is to click the second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install Optifine. Now, if you don't want to read through the guide, even though you can, just scroll down to step one and click download Optifine here. That is going to redirect you to the Optifine page. Click on preview version right under Minecraft 1.20.6. Click on mirror right here, and that is going to take you directly over here where we're going to click download. That'll begin the download immediately for 1.20.6. And while Optifine is downloading, of course, I have to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you don't know about Apex Hosting, what are you even doing? If you need a Minecraft server, either a Java or a Bedrock server, a server that has locations all over the world, so no matter where you are located, you have a good connection to your own server, a server that supports over 200 mod packs with just one click. And literally one click of a button, you could get a mod pack set up in less than five minutes. Then Apex Hosting, guys, is the perfect service for you. And if you hurry up and use that first link in the description, you get 25% off your first server so you can finally play Minecraft with friends without any issues, you know, without having to do everything on your own. Apex Hosting will help you out and set up everything for you super quick. First link in the description, 25% off, and let's get back into the tutorial. By the way, whenever you come over here, if instead of seeing preview version, you just see the download option right below 1.20.6, like you see in here, just go ahead and hit that instead. Just right now, we have to download the preview because Optimum 1.20.6 is not out yet completely, like fully 100%. So that means that you might have some crashes and stuff and it might not work with Forge and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and download it. With Optifine downloaded, let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. Just go ahead and drag and drop that preview Optifine file into there or just the full Optifine if you already have the full Optifine. Maybe you're watching this in the future. Just put it here in your desktop. And now I'm going to go ahead and download a shader because I want to try Optifine with shaders. However, if you don't want to download a shader or if you already have some shaders, you could skip the next step. Just go forward in this video. But yeah. If you want to follow along and download some shaders, in this case, I'm going to download Complementary Unbound because as you can see, they add this little brightness into ores, which is pretty cool when you go mining. So if you want to download the same shaders as me, click on the third link in the description, scroll down and on step one, click download. Of course, feel free to read through our guide. Once you click on download, that will bring you over here and we're going to download the 1.20.6. Simply click on these three dots and click download file and that will begin the download within five seconds. And once you have that file downloaded from this page in here after five seconds, just go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop, just like we did before with Optifine. Now we have the shaders, which is a zip file and the Optifine installer. And if you are ready to install Optifine, then all you have to do is make sure that Minecraft is completely closed as well as your Minecraft launcher. And then just go ahead and double click on the Optifine installer. that will open this menu here where we're going to click install. Now, if by any reason the Optifine installer didn't come up, that is because you need Java 21, guys. I'm tired of saying this in every tutorial, but any mod or any jar file or any Optifine or Iris or whatever you're trying to install for Minecraft above Minecraft 1.20.5 will require you to have Java 21 in your computer. And no, I'm not talking about Minecraft Java. I'm talking about Java as the software that reads computer language and stuff. OK, just trust me on this. You need Java 21 for Optifine 1.20.6 to install. So if you're having issues opening the installer, let's say that you double click on it and it opens as a web browser or a text document, just download Java 21. It's going to be the fourth link in the description. You might have to get rid of your older Java's if you have Java 17 or Java 7, but that's super easy to do. You just go to out of remove programs right here, you search for it and you delete the older Java's and that's it. We have a written guide in here on how to do this. Super simple. And that will solve your issues when trying to open the installer of Optifine. Anyways, let's assume that you were able to install Optifine. It's super simple. You click on install, you click OK once it's done, and now you could even delete it. Now let's go ahead and launch our Minecraft launcher. And if we install Optifine properly, when the Minecraft launcher opens, we should see Optifine selected here automatically. Let's go ahead and wait for this to load. And as you can see, indeed, Optifine is selected automatically right here. Optifine, OK? If that's not the case for you, you could always head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. If you don't see modded in here, Optifine won't be selected. Also, if you don't see Optifine in here, after you make sure modded is selected, just click on new installation. Name this whatever you want, like Apex Hosting, since they will give you 25% off using the first link in the description. And then on the version part, just look for Optifine. As you can see, we have 1.20.6 right here. Select that, click on create, and that'll make an instance of Optifine for you in here. Anyways, now that we got Optifine, let's go ahead and click on play. Let's go ahead and launch it so I could show you how to add the shaders because you're not done yet. You now need to add the shaders into Optifine. All you have to do now is launch your world. It could be a single player or a multiplayer world. Just go ahead and launch your world. Like I said, if you need a multiplayer server, just use that first link in the description. And as you can see, we're here. We're using um, some texture packs. So let's go ahead and take those off. By the way, if you want to see this video on how to get these cool texture packs, just 
just subscribe to the channel right now and be on the lookout to get this cool texture pack. Okay, so this is probably how your Minecraft looks, right? It just looks normal. You came into Minecraft. How do you add the shaders? Super simple. Press escape, head over to options. In here, click on video settings, click on shaders. And now in here, you're going to click on shaders folder right here on the bottom. Once you click on shader folders, a folder will appear, which might be empty for you guys because you probably don't have any shaders in here. All you have to do now is drag and drop the complementary bound file into this folder. And maybe you don't have the complementary bound. Maybe you have some other shaders. Just go ahead and drag, drop it into here. Once you do that, close this folder, head back to your Minecraft game and you will see your shaders appear in here. Select them. Okay, click on it. It might take a while after you click on it. Your game might freeze. It's OK. Just wait a little bit. It all depends on your computer, okay? If your computer is not that fast, well, it's not gonna load that fast. Click on it, and now once it loads, click on done, 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 back to the game. And as you can see, you now have some beautiful shaders. Hopefully you install the same ones as me. If not, you probably show some good shaders as well. Anyways, now that you're in here, you could always press the letter C on your keyboard and use that Optifine feature, which is the zoom in. As you can see, it looks beautiful. That is pretty much how to download and install Optifine 1.20.6. Make sure you subscribe and like this video and comment and all of that, everything for the YouTube algorithm. And also, I'm gonna be making a video in the future on how to use Optifine with Forge, as well as how to use Optifine with Fabric. So make sure you subscribe and don't miss out on those. And as always, bye-bye.